doors clear. Come through here real quick. You good? This is the Python right over there. So this is basically going to be my home for the next 10 days. A quick run around will show you some of the stuff. If you look underneath here, um, right down there, you have a big snake, boa constrictor, a couple of rattlesnakes, and a corn snake. Um, and right on the floor here is actually a heating element, so this keeps the whole area over there warm. Um, in here is my bathroom and shower. Basically, a gravity fed shower with just cold water, which is fine, a toilet, and a basin. And then we have a couple naturalistic kind of areas for snakes to chill out in. There's a heating area over here with a bunch of snakes. That's a puff header, the most dangerous snake in Africa, a gaboon viper, the longest fangs of any snake in the world, a western diamondback corral snake, probably responsible for the most bites of any snake in North America. And then you have some arboreal snakes up there. There's a python in the bushes there. There's a worm slung over there. Um, so this is basically our work area, both for filming and for the internet. So if you look, here's the internet. Um, I can go online and chat. And just to give you an idea, there's Africa's most venomous snake right there. That's the African worm slum. Um, the snakes are kind of making themselves at home, which is exactly what we want. That's the webcam that I'll be using to speak to people. And we have another camera up there, and then one at the opposite side of the room. And then inside the bushes over here, we have boa constrictors, a couple rattlesnakes, and um, there's a green snake over there. And then we have all these things at the bottom here because there's heating elements and the snakes feel nice and comfortable under the bags. So you basically just have somewhere for them to hide. Um, a table to work off of. We have these hide boxes throughout the room. So basically the snakes have somewhere to go. There's a little corn snake. And then my bed, which is elevated so that hopefully no snakes will get into them. What we found is the snakes actually can climb this pretty easily. And the arboreal snakes, that's a big concern. Once we get mambas and cobras, they'll want to go up into what's essentially a tree, and that's where I'm going to be sleeping. So hopefully have producers watch very closely what's happening. I do want to show you probably one of my favorite snakes in the whole world. And this is going to be one of my roommates for the next 10 days. This is a gaboon viper. It's got the longest fangs of any snake in the world, getting to two and a half inches and an extremely cardiotoxic venom that basically either shuts down your heart or kills you by shock. And it's one of the most beautiful snakes in the world, but also very, very deadly. And one of just a hundred roommates I'll have over the next 10 days.